And thanks for joining us. We look at uh, the Naira's gain marginally against the United States dollars on Friday, appreciating 0.04% a day after it fell at the sports market. But overall, the currency continued a fall that has continued and has been made worse by increasing demand for the dollars. The currency opened market trading at 434 Naira, 0.83% uh, per dollar, but closed at 436.33 Naira to a dollar, as against 436.50 as it traded in the previous session. The local unit traded between 436.50 Naira and 436.25 Naira to a dollar within the past three weeks. It reached uh, an eight month low of 436.50 Naira on September and on Monday, the Naira exchange hands with the greenback at 436.50. It gained on Tuesday slightly by 0.06%, 436.25 uh, Naira. But currently, the currency weakened to 436.50 Naira on Wednesday and the same rate it traded on Thursday. It gained marginally on Friday, closing at 436.33 Naira. At the power market, the Naira lost significantly during the week, and uh, that's what the dealers are quoted to say. As traders said that they bought the dollar at 710 Naira, it depreciated to 711 Naira and 712 Naira on Tuesday and Wednesday, respectively, according to black marketers. We have Dominic O'Reary, a certified metaverse expert, joining us from Delta State. Thank you so much, Dominic. Thank you very much. Good no. morning. Mm -hmm. All right, so quick one. What's the dollar, uh, you know, in so much demand, especially when we know that the exchange rate for us is the Naira. That's official exchange rate. What's making the demand for the dollar on the high? The demand for the dollar is currently on the high because first and foremost, you know, currency is the lifeblood of every economy. And that's one of my favorite phrases. And the dollar being a currency is one of the major drivers of global movement of sales, commerce around the world. And Nigeria as a country is an import dependent country. Now we do not produce as much as we import. And you see the fact that we need a lot of this particular effects to be able to facilitate that particular process, creates a demand and a supply factor. And this particular demand and supply factor is majorly now crippled by the Nigerian economy because one of the major ways we get dollar into the country is via crude oil exportation. And we can see that Nigeria in the last few years, on a yearly basis alone, we spend about $6 billion in terms of what? Bringing some of the products of the crude that we're exporting out for refining which already takes away a lot of dollars out of the what out of the country, because it matches with the statistics that came that in the last six years we have spent about thirty six billion to be able to bring in foreign what foreign products, especially when it comes to crude related products. Now you see our major source is source of um, foreign direct income, which is this particular FX, is crude. The because we have it as cash crops that produce this particular effects for us. And we have the oil crops, that the oil type of um, commodity that produces this particular effects for us. The oil is the very high one that brings the major for us. The others have been crippled in the last, say, two decades or three decades. So the demand and supply factor has come to see that um, there is no revenue being generated, especially dollars coming into the country. And you can see that foreign direct investment is not also coming in. A lot of people need money to travel abroad to maybe go for school. And they need money in terms of the fact that they need it urgently. Maybe they want to go for a, something like a medical checkup or something, and they need it urgently. And maybe if they write to the CBN, because the only way you can actually get dollar at the official rate is that you write to CBN saying that you need dollar for maybe traveling purpose, cooling purpose, and they give you at an official rate. Else, any other thing other than that, you have to get it at the black market rate. And because the black market rate know that this particular window of premium, they can make money from it, 
you can see it has become a mess. All right. Um, why, why do we still have, you know, two markets, you know, in terms of the exchange rate operating in Nigeria? I mean, this obviously is not healthy for the economy. The uh, official rate, you know, FX rate, dollar to Naira, uh, is, is, is been over around 436 last week into this week. Parallel rate, 710, 711. Um, some people say, you know, jettison the the uh, the official rates. I think they moved from where they were to the I and E, the import and export, you know, uh, window. Um, jettison that and let everyone go with the with the black market rate. But I think that even if you do that, still you're going to have two rates again. So what what's going on? What's going on with, with this whole parallel market thing? I could call it black market. It is important to state and um, mention that this particular two-tier exchange system that we have in Nigeria is not strange at all anywhere in the world. It is normal everywhere in the world. You have the parallel market and you have what is with the what, the CBN. Now, the problem is that even the parallel market consists of a very small window of this particular exchange. The major outflow of FX is from the NAFX, that's from the CBN, which, is, which consists of about 93%. The parallel market is just 7%. Now, how is it now possible that it is just the news coming in from the parallel market that we are hearing, we are focusing on, is, takes us back to the reason that I said before, the supply and the demand was factor. So the CBN is unable to meet the demand for Nigerians in terms of the official application that they would need to apply to the what to the CBN. Now, there are some other people which more like the elites, possibly they have access to a lot of money and they buy this particular dollar or maybe during the time of the COVID-19, you know, they printed a lot of money, about one trillion naira into the economy and they shared it one one hundred thousand yet. It's possibility that some people might have used that particular money to, uh, to also buy dollars speculating on the what on the rise. So that particular in, those this particular incident has created a supply and a demand what factor. Now the people in the parallel market they are not able to sell at a premium rate higher than what the CBN is going to be able to give because if you write to the CBN now and you don't have a letter backing your admission to one of the countries or maybe your basic traveling allowance or maybe something that is tangible, you will not get FX inflow into your what? Into your coffers or into your bank or into your dumb account. But you can go to the local black market and get that to yeah, be able so, to so sort I, I guess out what, your what I'm asking is, is sorry to in, interrupt at the point. Um, I mean, I mean, why, why, where is the the so-called black market getting to fix? It seems so organized, and um, it is too organized to be just uh, uh, based on supply and demand. I mean, we're hearing the news. The naira fell to the lowest against the dollar on Friday. Guess how much it fell to? Seven twenty. But officially, it's not seven twenty. It's four hundred and thirty something. How? So what's going on? And I mean, wh where do these guys get to 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 factor? Because it's basically even more um, uh, manual than it is, uh, um, you know, uh, electronic. So where do they get to? Because you have one rate in Abuja, same rate in Port Harcourt, same rate in Lagos, same rate in Kano, same rate in Calabar. Are you telling me that the demand in all these cities are the same at the same time on the same day? <laughs> so, 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 this is the way. so what, what's going on? So this is the way they get it. You know, um, there are people that have access to these particular positions of the CBN. There are elites that have money to be able to go buy this particular thing. There are people that already also know about the arbitrage strategy that is already in the market. And ideally, you see that once foreign direct investment is not coming in, there are people that have bought this particular dollar before. There are people that use it for elections. There are people that have this particular dollar stored up 
some people have been dollarized their economy before now. Some of the people, they actually do not even take payments in terms of Naira. They take payments in terms of dollars. So this particular absorption that they have had from the economy before now, now created with this particular new scarcity that has come because, you know, the dollar has also strengthened worldwide because currently, the dollar went up by 12% against every other currency because the dollar has been trying to, they removed that quantitative easing from around the world. So it has now made people to, especially people that are smart, to now say that, okay, there is, and because they've been playing in the market for the last 20 years or thereabouts, you expect them to also know much more than you in the business that they are doing. So when they saw this particular um, window of opportunity, what it did is to be able to what, leverage on it. And Nigeria has actually been failing in terms of providing enough resources or enough facilities that can augment for the demand of Nigeria. Now, if I have as a rich man and I do not take mine out, what of as Nigeria's economy is plummeting, we are using much more money to what to export oil. That is not my concern. Now the economy lacks enough dollar to be able to feed her citizens, but then I have and I can be able to what exploit so it. Quickly, so w, that particular we're, we're window, which time. I said is seven, is very tiny. Dominic, and we have to go we, now. But but just before we go quickly, what's the implication on our economy? What does this mean? Uh, for the common man. Does this have any implication? Yes, it does. You can see that, first and foremost, for the price of diesel, it has skyrocketed by 400%. It was 200 naira at the time. Right now, it's about 800 naira. The common man, which possibly had the pure water factory running that uses this particular diesel for production, it then means that the cost of water we now rise from five naira to what to possibly about 30, 50 naira in the market for the common man. The economy too would also see that the influx of products into the country, as Nigeria is an export in a, is an import dependent economy, reduces because the people would have to pay more to be able to get goods to what to come into the country. Amidst that, there is a very good sign. And that particular good sign is that we can also start diversifying our economy in terms of producing much more things like the cash crops, intellectual property that can be exported to now bring in FX into the country so that we can balance that particular demand and supply what problem. All right. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Dominic Uriri, certified metaverse expert, is reaching his life from Delta State. We appreciate your time. I think it's good you ended on a positive note that there's a bright side to this as well. Hope to have you next time soon. Thank you for your time. All right. Thank you very much. All right, Mercy. I mean, I would always ask, you know, um, if you say there's no dollar in the economy. So the one in on the black market, is it in another economy? No, oh, I mean, wait, what, the, they're talking it, about it, the rates now. Is, no, no, no. We don't have dollars in the economy, that's why the government can't give. So the one they're, they're exchanging on the, on the black market, power market, is it in another economy? No, so I, so for yeah. me, I don't think that there's they no dollar in the economy. So the, the, the question so, here is Or is it is another rates. country? No, we're talking about the rates now. And no, no, no. Availability. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's not available. Government can't give you. But the ones that are being exchanged on the black market, is it in another country? Well, we'll take a break now. No, we have we to actually run. So no, where, where is it coming from? When we return some other time. I'm, I'm it's, hoping it's, that we have time to talk about you know, it. I, I always say something is not, is not right somewhere. But anyway, <laughs> you can follow us on social media. We have uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts, Plus TV Africa on YouTube. We have Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Our website is also up as well. My name is Kofi Bartels. See you tomorrow. My name is Messia Boko. Thanks for joining us.